this question from um, this client Tan, who says that he thinks that uh, Pai Kia under his block. One of the biggest issues that we are dealing with today is actually scams. So specifically for youths, right? Um, the scams that I think youths are normally involved uh, in as victims are normally e-commerce scams and uh, social media impersonation scams. Um, let, let me share a bit more in detail. I think e-commerce scams is where you buy things online. And sometimes because you make payments upfront and uh, you don't get the item delivered at the end of the day, this happens more frequently when you actually buy direct from another consumer uh, through an online platform. And uh, I think even if you do it through a platform whereby there's an actual seller, sometimes they may actually contact you to tell you that, hey, let's not make the payment through the platform. Let's uh, maybe you make a bank transfer to me first and I'll deliver the item to you. These are actually signs that this could be a scam. Um, mm. so, so, you know, next time when you want to buy like game credits or that rare sword in that uh, RPG game that you are playing, please be very careful, you know. Uh, it, this is not secure at all. And, and we always tell people that the best way to, to buy things from another consumer is to meet up directly, verify what you're getting, and then um, then make the payment on the spot. This, this ensures that uh, you have surety that you're going to get what you what you actually ask for. Uh, social media impersonation scams, I, I, I know it's a bit of a mouthful, uh, but basically what happens is that you receive a message from someone. It could be via WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, Messenger. It could be a spoof account that you think is your friend. Uh, or it could be one of your friend's accounts being hacked, you know, and because you think you know that person, they may tell you that, oh, uh, you have won some game credits, you may have won a lucky draw, please give me your OTP or your password to your account, and I will help you to claim this stuff and pass it to you. Please don't do that. Um, most of the time, we, we tell you that even if you don't lose anything at the end of the day because you didn't share your bank account, um, you actually end up becoming what we call victim zero which is the start of a long chain because your account got hacked. And then thereafter, your account within the next 24 hours before you manage to get it back is actually being used to contact all your friends and families. And sometimes they may even contact your friends and family to ask them for loans, you know. And and they, and they people you know actually end up losing money because of this. Mm. Yeah, and, and I think um, basically that, that's some of the biggest concerns that we have right now in, in today's context. It's, it's a lot of scams going on. Okay, I see. So then for students who actually, uh, not for students, for youths, uh, who actually uh, have such scams or such incidents happen to them, uh, how do they go about uh, reporting this? And let's say, for example, they do fall for a scam, then what are the chances that uh, they will be able to uh, recover or recoup the losses that they have suffered due to the scam? Okay, uh, we, we always tell people, and this is a question that we actually get very frequently, uh, if you if you look at the news, we actually have this thing called the anti scam center set up recently. Uh, what we always tell the public is that if you suspect that you have become a victim of scam, please lodge a police report immediately. Um, what once you lodge a police report, it actually kickstarts a whole chain of actions on our side, and hopefully we can help you to freeze the bank account and and get some money back at the end of the day. Yeah, so I I think the anti crime uh, anti scam center has been very successful in doing this to some extent in the past year and so and there have been a lot of reports about how much money they've actually managed to recover. If you think something is wrong, you can call 999 on the spot. If it uh, if they're not there anymore and you want to submit information, please call your neighborhood police center. We will step out our patrols and uh, we'll keep the place safe, don't worry. <laughs>